I was wondering why my coffee was making weird noises. A massive piece of glass has gone into my coffee and I've been drinking this all morning. A full piece of glass in my coffee. I could have swallowed that and died and would have never been able to make these videos for you guys again. So let's get rid of that. Good morning people, what's going on? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we're in a new place. We're in Barcelona today. And today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through a day in the life of me traveling and trading in Barcelona. I'm excited to take you guys on a trip around Barcelona because so far it's an absolutely fantastic, fantastic city. It's just absolutely beautiful and these views are incredible. So this morning, it is currently, sun's just coming up, it's currently 8 a.m. here. So 7 a.m. London time. The really nice thing about being here, it's one hour ahead of London. So I've already been up this morning for an hour. So I get up around 7 a.m., which is 6 a.m. London. So I have an hour to kind of do my own thing, grab a coffee, come out here, enjoy these incredible views before the London session even starts. So it's really, really nice to be that sort of one step ahead of everyone in London. Plan of action for this morning is drink this coffee, enjoy these views, and then I'm gonna jump on a morning Zoom call with the community and hopefully look to take some trades. I have a potential trade in the cards, which is GBP AUD, which is looking to be a 10% trade, but I'll show you guys that when we jump on the charts. But for now, I'm gonna let the guys in London wake up. I'm gonna drink my coffee, enjoy this view, and soak it up. But let me just show you guys these views. It's incredible. I'll give you a full apartment tour just after the Zoom as well. Once the sun's come up properly and the lights come into the apartment, I'll give you a full tour because it's an incredible, incredible place. These are the views here. You guys probably can't see this well, but the sunrise this morning is just absolutely incredible. Let me take you guys around here. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. People are just going to work on that grind. And we've got the sunrise coming up just over the mountains over there. And it's just incredible. I don't know if this does it any justice, but it's beautiful. It's the little things in life, guys. I'm not into materialistic things. I don't have a fancy car. But what I do have 
is the freedom and the ability to stay in these nice places and that's personally just how I prefer to spend my money. If you want that aspect of trading in order to be able to buy fancy cars, you can do that as well. But for me personally, I just prefer to, at this present time in my life, explore new countries, stay in really nice apartments. I have a thing for just exploring really cool apartments. So I'm staying here for uh, the next three nights until we fly back to Jersey, but I just wanted to show you guys a day in the life. And I come out here in the morning and I just drink my coffee and I just sit out here. Sometimes I'll be listening to sort of meditation, motivational speeches, and it seems pretty weird, but I come out here in the morning, drink my coffee and just look, look out and I just smile just because I'm so amazed and grateful for everything that I've been able to do through trading. I literally used to dream, literally used to dream, wake up and I would have a dream about being able to travel and trade, okay? This didn't happen overnight. This is why when I come out here, I just sit out here and just drinking a coffee, sitting out here, jumping on the charts is enough to make me happy because it's amazing for me to see everything come to fruition. Hope I inspire you guys through this day in the life that you can do anything you want, you can make stuff happen. You just gotta go out there, work hard, and whatever it is you wanna do, you just gotta do it. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with the materialistic things. I, I just, it's just me, I don't like the materialistic things. If I, it's very easy to get into a cycle when you're in your hometown of getting the nice car to impress the people. Look everyone, look, I'm a trader, I'm making all this money. When you strip everything back and these people who have these materialistic things just aren't genuine real people. So having a fancy car, fancy watch, whatever it may be, that doesn't define me as a person, okay? You can strip all of that back, you can take away the money and the materialism, but you can't take away the memories that I am here creating. So materialistic things are just objects, whereas freedom, memories, and travel like this is something that I'll keep forever. Like I say, most of the time, I have thought, hmm, should I maybe buy a car, do all these things, and then it's like most of the time, you're just trying to impress people that you don't even like anyway. So what you gotta do is just say, it. Stop caring about what people think. Go out there and do whatever it is you want to do. The less you worry, the happier you will be. Just be present in the moment. Enjoy life. Enjoy these incredible moments, things. Um, and that is my motivational speech for the day. Guys, look, when you wake up in the morning, when you feel tired, this morning I felt tired. Maybe I wanted to stay in bed. It's a little bit chilly out here, but it's nice. It's not comfortable. And it's good to not be comfortable. You have to be uncomfortable in order for you to grow as a person and do all these different things. Was it scary for me to quit my job three years ago now with no plan, no backup, no idea what I was doing? Go trading, traveling on my own. Is that scary? Of course it is. But do I regret it? Absolutely not. So you just have to wake up and do something that makes you feel uncomfortable, whatever it may be. The littlest things that really can help you. You just gotta wake up in the morning and just look yourself in the mirror in the morning and just say yes. For no reason, just look up and just go yes. And you will feel better. Look, all these people are, are down here and we just gotta tell them to say, everyone, say yes. We're gonna make happen today, come on. Let's get it. Now, let's go on the charts. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Make that money. On the daily, if this daily can close back below here, then I think this could be a big, big position. Like I said yesterday, I do think this could be looking for like a thousand plus pip move, which would be bloody beautiful. <laughs> All right guys, so just wrapped up a Zoom with the community. Just jumped on a little 20 minute, 30 minute call. It's always nice just to jump on, grab a coffee, sit down with the members and just run over charts and just talk everything trading. We've entered a position this morning on Pound Aussie, which is looking to be around a 10% plus trade. So far we've absolutely sniped it. It's currently already running about 1.52% profit. So 2% profit before 8 a.m. London time is absolutely fantastic. So I'll update you guys how that progresses as the day goes on, but look guys, the sun is coming up. Let's get on with this apartment tour. All right guys, so you come in here. This is the main entrance, the apartment. We've got downstairs with the bedroom, which I'll show you guys. And here we have this incredible, incredible kitchen. Let me show you guys the bedroom. Come downstairs to the bedroom. Lovely big open windows. Well, they're not actually open, they're closed, but you know what I mean. <laughs> bedroom, we've got a Toilet in there, shower in there. We have a desk there, which I haven't used, but if you guys look, we can open this. We also have a nice downstairs balcony as well, because you know what? Life is a trader, you need more than one balcony. Look at this, the sun's coming up right now. Nice big balcony, stretches along there. So, really nice. Oh, fantastic. That would be really good if I got locked out. <laughs> now, come upstairs. <sighs> And then we're in the kitchen, you guys have seen the kitchen. I also smashed a wine glass this morning, so we're gonna have to disguise that somehow. Smashed a wine glass. Uh, I wasn't drinking wine this morning, if you guys are wondering if I'm an absolute alcoholic. I was just filling up water to put in the coffee machine, but then somehow smashed it, so. More windows come through here. Little utility room, which is always a nice touch. 
and then you come through here and you have the dining room and trading setup. I just love the windows everywhere. It's always nice to have a really nice bright apartment. And this place is unnecessarily big for one person, but I pretty much just got it for this huge balcony and that massive living room. But if you come down here, we have even more bedrooms. We have a lovely little sitting area here. If you wanna, people wanna sit here, watch TV, whilst other people are watching TV in there, you might wanna watch something different, I don't know. Come through here, we have Another bedroom, little wardrobe. Don't know if you guys wanted to see the wardrobe, but what's out this view? I haven't actually looked out here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Another bedroom, same view. Shower for the people who stay in this bedroom, which is absolutely no one, just me. Um, <laughs> and then this is where we come out to the incredible balcony, and you can actually open this right the way up. Um, so you guys can see, look, you've come through here. Now you've got these big, huge open doors which is just absolutely stunning and then this is the balcony and this balcony is absolutely huge like we stretch all the way down here and then you come out you can see if you guys can see it there's some beautiful mountains up there and then you've got the other views we've got the sunrise coming up there it's probably a bit too bright for you guys to see incredible and this balcony is huge let me just show you guys how big this balcony actually is it's obviously you know fitness guru like me come out here to go for a jog every morning my balcony is that big that i can go for a jog in the morning <laughs> Right, ready. <laughs> it's a big balcony. <laughs> you got all the people down there wondering what the hell is this kid doing at 8 a.m. running up and down a balcony? You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And then that is where <laughs> we're gonna have some lunch, sit out there, um, and update you guys on trades and maybe look to take some nice special. But that's the apartment tour. So. Very big apartment, it's a very nice apartment. This is personally what I like to spend my money on. This place costs around 200 pounds a night. I'm here for three nights, so 600 pounds for three nights, it's not too bad. Hopefully this GA position we've taken this morning will cover the cost of that and we'll, we'll be all right. So the plan of action for the next few hours is, I've taken a position this morning, I'm just kinda, kinda gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna run over some more analysis, set some alerts, and then I'm gonna go out and enjoy the morning. I'm probably gonna go for, there's a outdoor gym, which I'll take you guys to down right on the promenade on the beach, um, which looks absolutely incredible. So we'll probably go down there for a workout and then we'll probably catch back up as the US session is going to open. Once I've, once I've had my morning, I have seen the London open. I don't really need to stare at the charts. I can just go out and enjoy my day. Set some alerts. Once I have the alerts set, then I can pretty much just manage them on my phone until I'm able to come back and go on my laptop. I was wondering why my coffee was making weird noises. This is pretty crazy. When I smashed the wine glass, a massive piece of glass has gone into my coffee and I've been drinking this all morning. But look, where is it? A full on piece of glass in my coffee. I could have swallowed that and died and would have never been able to make these videos for you guys again. So let's get rid of that. All right guys, one more coffee. Now, let's go work out. This is like a full on, it's a very nice bag for a takeaway. I might have to keep this little souvenir. But we're in the, this is a little, you know, life of a trader <laughs> private lift that just goes directly up to my apartment, which is quite nice. Um, so, yeah, let me show you guys. Orange, strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry. And then, gotta get the greens in as well. This one is apple, celery, spinach, lime. Cucumber and kale, a hot chicken and avocado wrap. And we have, well I didn't actually order this, chocolate bar. Nice little touch. 
sit here, enjoy this food, maybe trade a little bit more. What time is it now? It is quarter past one, so US session is about to open. I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this food, check for potential trades. There's a few other things lining up, and then I'm gonna jump on a call with one of the community members. And then maybe tonight go out, explore a little bit more, get some food, and of course, bring you guys along with me. I was gonna do a little montage of me like sitting here eating, like doing this, but I just wanna eat and enjoy my food. So here's a little montage. And this is my first meal of the day, so it's half, well, it's actually half two right now. This is a longer fast than normal, but I intimate fast every single day. Some of you guys already know my other passion aside from, which kind of link in pretty well, apart from um, traveling and trading, is fitness and health. If you eat like shit and you're lazy, you're unproductive, that is going to have a reflect on the charts and that is going to have a reflect on your trading performance. If you're eating right, you're fueling your body with the right things, you're getting up early, you're being active, that all helps with you being happy. And by you being happy, then that allows you to trade better. So that's me breaking my fast with a nice chicken wrap and some healthy juices. Gonna sit here, enjoy this. And also people like seeing people eat food for some reason. So. Good. Bye. And there it is. GA took this position this morning and we have already hit around 5.27% which is fantastic. Tra taking this live as well, this is how you guys know there's no gimmick in what I say and do. Trade live every single day. Join a community if you want to become a part of it. And also if you're in the community, you are more than welcome to stay in one of these rooms like I 100% mean. If you are more than welcome to stay in this room, we can wake up, have coffee, sit here, trade talk crazy things together take a five percent trade it's now only half one and we could be done for the day and go out and enjoy our day so if you guys want to find more about the community um, and how you could have banked this 5.3 at the minute but if you want to stay up to date with my trades come travel trade with me then the link is in the bar you can check out the community but you don't have to you can just sit here and enjoy the content i also appreciate that. It's also got a full advanced course in there as well. I say advanced because it's much more advanced developed tools, which once you learn how to use are actually easy to use, but these are tools that I have developed myself through my own failures and mistakes throughout the years, because some of you guys don't know, I failed trading for at least two years before I got to the point where I am at now, even though I hate saying that. So if you guys wanna advance your trading knowledge, not just take trades with me, but actually learn how to trade properly, then again, you can find it all within the community. But guys, people are able to take these trades with me, sniping for the day, banking money while making school pack lunches. That is what we love to hear. Good job, Richard, taking a position with me. Also, we got Lewis. This was this morning, up 2.2%. That was at 8.30 this morning. Um, it's now run into over 5%, and then that was this morning me. Having my coffee, taking the trade, sniping with the gang. And this is all the channels of the community, guys. But you can check it out more. There's more in here. You guys can check it out on the website. All the content is through me, all done, made by me. Check it out. Come and join the squad. Busy day guys, busy, busy day. So I've just come back from being out and just about to cook some dinner and then I'm gonna have my dinner on the balcony, jump on the charts again, possibly have a little beer and just enjoy the sunset. You guys probably can't see it because the lighting, but the sun's setting right now, it's absolutely beautiful outside. But that's a very typical day in the life of a travel trader. I pretty much wake up, I'm an hour ahead right now, so I wake up around 7 a.m. this time, which is 6 a.m. London time, which actually works out really well because I can sort of start my day, go for a little workout, have a coffee, get prepared, get woken up properly, before the London session is even open. So it's nice to kind of be that little one hour ahead. So in the morning, I will jump on the charts from about 7 a.m. London till about 9 a.m. I'll usually be on live Zooms with the community, so that's always fun. And then around 9 a.m., I typically, if I haven't taken a trade, what I'll do is I'll set some alerts ready for the day ahead. So then when I go out and explore, I have the alerts ready on my phone. So if I need to execute a position, then I have the alerts set. I don't need to sit there and just stare at the charts. That's one That's one thing that if you take from this video, guys, is to help you. In order for you to be able to do the sort of freedom aspect of trading, is just utilize alerts and don't be a slave to your charts. You don't need to sit in your charts 24 seven. It's only gonna affect you in a negative way. And I learned that the hard way. I used to sit on my charts for hours and hours and hours on a day, end up forcing terrible trades and then just taking unnecessary losses but now so from pretty much 9 9 a.m london until about half 12 1 i just enjoy my day i don't look at the charts at all unless it's just to talk to the guys in the community and share some charts ideas whatever but i pretty much don't look at the charts and i'll go back on the charts just before the us open because just before the us open you can then again look to catch some fantastic entries so that's where today i spent it here whereas other days what i will likely do is i'll just go down to a coffee shop most of the coffee shops have good Wi-Fi, good coffee, good food. Yeah, have a coffee, have a sandwich, jump back on the charts again, talk to the guys in the community, and then look to take some trades. And I'll pretty much be then on the charts again for another two hours 
Again, if there's nothing that's massively jumping out or if there's things that need a little bit more time, what I'll do is just set more alert. And then after that time, I won't really then check the, tar the charts for another maybe three, four hours, sometimes even more. It all depends on the price action. It's hard to say exactly, but it all depends on the price action. But I pretty much typically in a day, maybe spend anywhere from two to four hours on the chart. Sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, frequently a little bit more because I've been so active in the community and jumping on Zooms, which I absolutely love to do. So I'm okay with that. I, I am more than happy to jump on one-to-ones with community members, uh, group Zoom calls, everything like that. I, I enjoy doing that. I don't I don't mind being to some, some people might see this video and be like, oh my God, you're in a new country, but you're always on your laptop. If I wasn't on my laptop, I wouldn't be able to do the things I'm doing. I wouldn't be able to stay in this incredible apartment if it wasn't being on a laptop. And to me, I absolutely love being on the charts. The trading is my passion. It's what I love to do. So why wouldn't I want to be on the charts? I'm sure it's the same. And I'm sure it's the same for you guys. So it's a day during the week where if I was at home, I would just be sat on my desk all day. So why would I rather be sat on my desk where I could be out doing the things that I'm doing right now? So that is my dinner ready. And the longer I keep talking to you guys, the more my food's gonna get burnt. So I'm gonna go get my dinner set outside and just enjoy the rest of the evening. Showed you guys my lunch, it's only right that I show you my dinner. What have we got? Let's have a look. I've been good on my diet all week. Do not judge me. I deserve this. <laughs> wow, eat. Cutlery, where's the cutlery? <sighs> Turns out you pay 200 pounds a night for an apartment that doesn't even come with plates. Fantastic. Just having my dinner, having a nice chilled Actually not so chilled beer, but it's still nice on the balcony. It's a little bit cold, but we got the jacket on. But just wanted to wrap up the vlog here. That's us done for the day. It's a, it's a pretty chilled day in the life, but it's a sort of nice life when you're traveling on the road trading. So I'm now gonna sit here, enjoy this, potentially look at sniping another trade on gold with the community. So may jump on a live with the community and hopefully execute another fantastic position. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I would really appreciate that. And always be sure to smash that subscribe button. And guys, leave a comment below. Let me know where you guys are from. This year, hopefully the world's gonna get back to normal and I wanna travel a lot more. So let me know where you guys are from and hopefully I can come out and visit you guys and we can trade, travel, eat good food and crush these markets. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.